نحمد و نسلی علی رسول الکریم اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری و احلل اقدتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی و جعل لی وزیر من اخلی اللہم فکہنا فی الدین رب زدنی علما اللہم انی اسألکا علما نافیا رزقا طویبا و عملا متقبلا آمین سم آمین السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ And do they not know that Allah extends provisions for whom he wills and restricts it? Indeed, in that are signs for the people who believe. Allahumma kfini an halalika an haramik wa agnini bifadlika amman sivak. Verse number 53 and 54. These verses come up with a wonderful and beautiful promise by Allah, the Rahman, the Rahim, the merciful sustainer of the worlds. Allah says, O oh my servants, قُلْ يَا إِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَتُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ O oh my servants who have transgressed against themselves by sinning, Do not despair. Do not despair of the mercy of Allah. Why? Because indeed, Allah forgives all sins. Indeed, it is He who is the forgiving, the merciful. For seeking His mercy, you need to do what? For getting an atonement of all the sins, all what you need to do is return in repentance to your Lord. And then do what? Submit to him before the punishment come on, comes upon you. Then you will not be held. So in these two verses, an attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of his forgiveness is being mentioned. In this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making a declaration Allah is proclaiming and making a declaration and it seems as if his mercy, his mercy is at the highest level. His mercy is at its peak. He is announcing that, oh people, all those people who have wronged themselves. Remember in this verse, Allah is not just addressing his obedience, his obedient bondsmen. He is not just addressing or announcing to his sincere servants to the scholars, to the worshippers, or to those who have believed. Allah is addressing all the people. Allah is addressing all. Allah is saying, you think you have gathered? You have gathered an immense amount of filth of sins? Allah is addressing all those who have disbelieved. Allah is addressing all those who are disobedient. Allah is addressing the hypocrites. Allah is addressing the transgressors and is telling them not to despair. Do not lose hope. Why? Why? Because the one who is the ghafoor, who is the ghafir, who is the merciful, he will forgive you. He will forgive all of you. He will forgive everyone. He will forgive every sin. He will forgive all of the sins of all of the people. He will pardon all the sins of all the people, all the sins he will pardon. All what they need to do is anibu, anibu, return. Where? Anibu ila rabbikum, return towards their Lord. And then do what? Aslimu lahu, submit to him, surrender to him. And do not do what? Do all this in hurry. Do not delay. Repent and return to your Lord seeking forgiveness before your time goes out. Remember the attribute of Allah which is mentioned the most in Quran, his attribute of forgiveness. Al-Ghafir, Al-Ghafur, Ghafir al-Zam, Qabil al-Tawb, Afuvan Qadir. 
these are the attributes which have been mentioned to encourage the bondsman to seek forgiveness. These are the attributes of Allah mentioned the most in Quran. Seeking forgiveness is such a light deed by Allah that he promises forgiveness for all who return seeking forgiveness. Until when will he forgive? Hazrat Abdullah bin Umar who reports in Tirimsi and Ibn Majah that Prophet said, that there is no doubt, indeed, for sure, that the repentance of his bondsman, Allah accepts it till the last breath before death. That is why, that is exactly why in verse 31 of Surah Tawbah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered all of us, that, oh believers, all of you, all of you, oh believers, you repent towards Allah, all of you collectively, so that you might be successful, successful there, <coughs> hereafter, and in this world also. In Surah Tahrim, verse number eight, Allah says, Repent how? Ya yuhallazina amanu tubu illallah tawbatun nusu. That, O oh, you believers, you repent towards Allah, you seek forgiveness towards Allah. How? Tawbatun nusu. And what do we mean by tawbatun nusu? Hazrat Umar, radiallahu ta'ala, and who, when he was asked, he explained that tawbatun nusu means seeking repentance repentance or asking forgiveness in a way that after Toba, committing the sin is set aside, one does not even think about it. One does not even think or imagine about committing the sin. Allah loves those, as Allah says in Surah Al-Baqarah, in Allah, you have to be a person Allah loves all those who's, who want, who try to stay pure and who seek who seek forgiveness and who repent towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And on the contrary, Allah warns in Quran, Those who do not repent, those who do not return towards Allah, after committing sins, they do not return towards Allah seeking forgiveness. These are those who are the wrongdoers, they are wronging themselves. Why? Very obviously, because he is a wrongdoer. He has wronged himself. Allah, Allah Almighty has given such a remarkable bumper offer of pardoning all the sins, but he fails to avail of the offer. How foolish he is being, how, how badly he is wronging himself. رَبَّنَا ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا وَإِن لَمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرْحَمْنَا لَنَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ And that is why Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has advised تُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ Repent, seek forgiveness towards Allah فَإِنِّي تُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ فِي كُلِّ يَوْمٍ مِيَعْتَ مَرَّةِ In another tradition he said سَبْعِينَ مَرَّةِ O people, you seek forgiveness towards him for I, I repent and I seek forgiveness in a day, 100 times or 70 times. Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala and who reports in Musnad Ahmad and Ibn Majah that when a bondsman sins, a black spot appears on his heart. But when he seeks forgiveness, it is washed off, it clears away. But if a person goes on committing sins and does not seek forgiveness, then the whole heart becomes black. And then Prophet ﷺ recited the verse, That is, the hearts, they get rusted and they get corroded. And these are the hearts for which Allah has mentioned in Quran, So the hearts of the people who go on sinning, the sinners who go on sinning, but they do not repent and they do not seek repentance and forgiveness for their sins, then there are the hearts who, who get corroded. Theirs are the hearts who get stamped and theirs are the heart who get sealed. 
and they stay away from faith and belief in their hearts. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he, he was shown some people with shining white faces and he asked whom they were. He was told that these were the persons who had <clears throat> refrained from all forms of sins. And then he saw people who had spots, black spots on their faces, but he saw that they got down. <clears throat> he saw that they got down, descended in a river and they took a dip and they came out and they came out with shiny, clear, white faces. He was told that these were the people who had committed sins, but they had seeked forgiveness. So their faces had become shiny white also. Allahumma ja'alna minhum. Hazrat Anas radiallahu ta'ala and who has reported in Ibn Majah and the Rimzi that Prophet sallallahu alayhi sallam has explained the situation and the truth. He said, Kullu bani adma khattan khayrul khata'een at-tawwaboon that all the, all the sons of Adam alayhi salam, they are but bound to err and they will commit sins. But the best of those who err and the best of sinners are those who repent, who seek forgiveness for their sins. And when a person, a bondsman, seeks forgiveness, what happens is, how does, how does this cause atonement of all the sins? Hazrat Abdullah bin Masood, Rasulullah ta'ala, and who reports in a tradition that Prophet Sallallahu said, At-taibu min zambi kama la zamba lahu. The person who seeks forgiveness from his sins is the one like is, is like the one for whom no sins are left at all. Remember, seeking forgiveness and repenting is the trade of the inmates of Jannah. Surah, <coughs> Surah Al-Imran, verse 135, Allah explains, the trace of inmates of Jannah is, وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَاحِشَةً أَوْ زَوَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ ذَكَرُوا اللَّهِ فَاسْتَغْفِرُوا لِذُنُوبِهِمْ وَمَنْ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ The people of the Jannah, the people of the Paradise will be those whom when they commit any sin or immoral character or immoral traits, they remember Allah or they wrong themselves, they remember Allah. And when they remember Allah, what do they do? They repent, they seek forgiveness. Why? Because they know that there's no other, no other being other than Allah who is all seeking of forgiveness. Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq ta'ala and who reports in Tirimdi and Abu Dawood that a person who repents with sincerity, even if he seeks forgiveness 70 times in a day, you know why I'm telling all this is that when we seek forgiveness and then after some times, if we are habitual to a sin and we are very much used to committing a sin in our daily lives and then we, we seek forgiveness and then because of being habitual, we commit it again and then we seek forgiveness and then we commit again. After some times, shaitan comes, to up, comes up to us and suggests that you have like made out a fun of seeking forgiveness. What will Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say? What, he'll, what will he say? Aren't you ashamed of what you are doing? So you might as well stop, stop seeking forgiveness. You're trying to make a fun out of all this seeking forgiveness and repenting. No, we do not need to stop seeking forgiveness and repenting because Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, that a person repenting with sincerity, even if he seeks forgiveness 70 times a day, his name will be written in the list of those who did not insist. And not insisting is again a trait of the inmates of Jannah. That knowing that they have sinned, that knowing that they have disobeyed Allah, they do not cover up. They did not justify their wrongdoings and their sins, but they do what? They repent and seek forgiveness. In Surah Hijr, Verse number 49 and verse number 49 and 50, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala announces, Nabbi ibadi anni anal ghafuru rahim wa inna azabi lahu al azabul alim. That you inform, you give information, O my servants, give them the information to all my servants and all my bondsmen that I am all forgiving and I am all merciful. 
But there's no doubt, absolutely no doubt, that there my torments will also be very, very painful and very humiliating. So to save yourselves, avail of the announcement of the forgiver of all the sins. Prophet Sallallahu has told all of us that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says that, oh, my servants, you did not expect from me. Oh, my servants, you did not ex expect forgiveness from me. If, if your sins had reached from earth to the heavens and you would have asked forgiveness, I would have forgiven you. And if you would have come with the sins of all the sinners of the world together, only, only you yourself, and you would have asked forgiveness, I would have forgiven you. And then Prophet Sallallahu told all of us that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says that the bondsman who believes that I can and I will forgive, I forgive him. Now I ask all of you, do we believe that he is Ghafoor? Do we know that he is Ghafar? Do we understand that he is Ghafir zam Is it our faith that he is Qabil al -tawb? And do we understand that he is Afuvan Qadir? Yes, we know that. We believe that from the core of our hearts. Then seek forgiveness. Seek forgiveness. Because Prophet ﷺ has promised that who makes seeking forgiveness his habit, making istighfar, making seeking forgiveness his habits, then Allah gives contentment to his soul, gives him a peace of mind, eases out all the hardships and the crises of his life, and he provides for him sustenance from where he doesn't hope or expect. Allahumma ja'alni min al-tawwabina wa ja'alni min al Remember, seeking forgiveness is a, man, is a mannerism of the prophets. It is a mannerism of the messengers of Allah. Adam alayhi salam, when he, when he committed a folly, he, he pleased his Rabb by seeking forgiveness, by saying what? Rabbana zolamna anfusana wa illam taghfir lana wa tarhamna lanakunanna min al khasirin. Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, he said what? When he committed an accidental murder, he accepted, he repented, and he seeked forgiveness. Hazrat Yunus salam, when he was in the belly of the fish, he said what? La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min I am of the wrongdoers. And there are some supplications which have been taught to all of us for seeking forgiveness in the Quran and by the words of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Rabbi khfir warham wa anta khayru rahimeen. Astaghfirullah Rabbi min kulli zambin wa atubu alayk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Allahumma khfir li. Allahumma innaka afuvan kareeman tuhibbul affa faqwanna 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 Allahumma gfir lana walil mu'minina wal mu'minat wal muslimina wal muslimat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us re remember and help us frequently recite this supplication and help us be one of those who very frequently repent and seek forgiveness. Allah says, follow the best of what was revealed to you from your Lord before the punishment comes upon you suddenly and while you do not perceive, lest a soul should say, oh, how great is my regret over what I neglected in regard to Allah and that I was among the mockers. Or lest it say, if only Allah had guided me, I would have been among the righteous. Or lest it says that when it sees the punishment. If only I had another turn so I could be among the doers of good. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us all of those who do not come across all these regrets on the day of judgment. But yes, there had come to you my verses, but you denied them and you were arrogant and you were among the disbelievers. And on the day of resurrection, you will see those who lied about Allah with their faces blackened. Is there not in hell a residence for the arrogance? 
and Allah will save those who feared him by their attainment. No evil will touch them, nor will they be grieved. Allah is the creator of all the things. He is over all things disposer of affairs. To him belongs the keys of the heavens and the earth. And they who disbelieve in the verses of Allah, it is those who are the losers. Say, is it other than Allah that you order me to worship, O ignorant ones? And it is already revealed to you that those before you, that if you should associate anything with Allah, your work will surely become worthless and you would surely be among the losers. Rather, worship only Allah and be among the grateful. And have not appraised Allah with true appraisal. They have not appraised Allah with the true appraisal, while the earth entirely will be within one grip on the day of resurrection, and the hills will be folded in his right hand. Exalted is he, and high above what they associate with him. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar. And the horn will be blown, and whoever is in the heavens, and whoever is on the earth, earth will fall dead except whom Allah wills then it will be blown again and at once they will be standing looking on and the earth will shine with the light of its Lord and the record of the deeds will be placed Allahumma hasibna hisab yasira and the prophets and the witnesses will be brought and it will be judged between them in truth and they will not be wronged and every soul will be fully compensated for what it did and he is most knowing of what they do and those who disobey disbelieved will be driven to hell in groups this is from where the surah gets its name and when they reach it its gates are opened and its keepers will say did there not come to you messengers from yourselves reciting to you the verses of your lord and warning you of the meetings of this day they will say, yes, but the words of punishment has come into effect upon the disbelievers. So this is a dialogue between the inmates of the hell when they will enter and the angels, angels of the hell fire who will be surprised and they will they will just not be able to understand and they will be think they will be thinking that it will be like next to impossible that if the pe people had received warnings, from the warners and from the messengers, they still end up landing in the hell. To them, it will be said, enter the gates of hell to abide eternally therein. Wretched is the residence of the arrogance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, help us strive and stay in this life as your humble servants. But those who feared their lords will be driven to the paradise in groups until when they reach it, while its gates have been opened, seven gates of Jahannam and eight gates of Jannah. Its gates have been opened and its keepers will say, Salamun alaikum toibatum fadquluha. Peace be upon you. You have become pure. So enter to it, abide eternally therein. They will enter and they will say, Alhamdulillah, praise to Allah who has fulfilled for us his promise and made us inherit the earth which earth the earth of Jannah so we may settle in paradise wherever we will will and excellent is the reward of the righteous workers Allahumma ja'alna minhum and you will see the angels surrounding the throne we know that before the day of judgment, the angels of the throne have been mentioned to be four in number in Quran and Hadith. But on the day of judgment, the number has been explained to increase to eight. So the angels surround, surrounding the throne, exalting Allah with praise of their Lord, and it will be judged between them in truth. And it will be said, all praise to Allah. Lord of the worlds.
Subhanallah, wa bihamdihi. Subhanallah, il azim. Subhanallah, wa bihamdihi. Subhanallah, il azim. Subhanallah, wa bihamdihi. Subhanallah, il azim. Frequently should we remember Allah with these glorifying verses, which were, which have been taught to us by Hadith, are the verses which the angels glorify Allah Subhanahu wa Taala with. And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has promised all of us that whoever glorifies Allah hundred times with these verses, then all sins, even if they come up to the forms of the water on the oceans, then the sins will be forgiven and pardoned. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar. These are the words for which Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has given the good news that he saw a tree and the tree in the winter, in the winter morning, all the leaves were dried and he held and he shook the tree leaves with his staff and the trees swelled. And he said that the, that the sins of a believer are a bondsman. They shed when he says, subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar, when he says this once. Subhanallah, he will be hamdihi, other the holkihi, what is on napsihi, was in other arshihi, but meda the kalimatihi. Rabbana, la to ze kalubana, bada is hadaitana, wahablana, miladun karahma, in naka antal wahab. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika, nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastakbiruka wa natubu alayk. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun, wa salamun ala al-mursaleen, wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, ameen summa ameen.